What you're looking at is a case of glass all by one artist, the French artist Maurice Marino, who began his career as a painter. And you can see in the right-hand side of the case one of his paintings. Marino was associated with a circle of painters in Paris called the Fauves, or the Beasts. And these included people such as Henri Matisse and André Derain. So he was associated with a very well-known group of painters in France and pursued this career until one day in 1911, he was visiting friends at their glass factory outside of Paris, and he discovered glass. From then on, he pretty much abandoned painting in favor of investigating what he could do with glass. On the first shelf, you see some of Marino's blown and enameled pieces, and below that, some of the later work, which is blown, enameled, and acid etched and cut. In the blown and enameled glass, you can see the relationship between Maurice Marino's interest in glass and his interest in painting. As he got more into the material, he began to explore different qualities of it, the heaviness of the material, the bubbles in the glass, the way that glass could be made to look like water or ice or fire. He was very much inspired by elements of the natural world, and you can see some of his process in the video to your right. Marino was one of the first artists who really literally did everything himself. He was not a designer who worked with a factory worker in the making of his objects. They were not made by machine. Marino designed and made each of these objects by hand. And this is one of the reasons we feel that he is such an important artist in that he is one of the very first what we call studio glass artists.